the totals, AJ? So right there is a flood watch in effect for the Skagit River, where we are here in Mount Vernon. They have been impacted by floods historically being in a flood zone. But what you're looking at right here, the riverfront, the river walk has helped them get out of that flood zone. It was a decade and a half in the making, but basically helping the downtown area avoid floods. A big part of that is right here, these walls. If flood waters start coming up, if the water gets too high, they just fill these walls out. Something that used to take hours of time, hundreds of community members laying down sandbags now can be done with just a few people. And again, helping the community stay dry. That being said though, when you hear that there's a flood watch in the area and you live right down the street, it can still be a little concerning. And we live just right on the other side of the dike. And so when the river was flooded or higher uh, a few weeks ago, it affects the groundwater. Like in our house, we have a really, really old house. And so it you know, came up like through our pipes and stuff. Um, but if it were to flow over the dike, I think we'd have an, a, a little bit of a problem because we're on the first. We have a two-story house, but the first level. You heard Lisa uh, talking a little while ago. Concrete is going to crest on Friday. That helps out the people here in Mount Vernon as they're down the river. They crest on Saturday. So what happens in concrete likely will happen here, helping them get prepared for what might occur in this area. That being said, if you need any help, if you need sandbags, the county has areas where you can go and pick them up. If you need information, reach out to the county. Reporting live here in Mount Vernon, I'm AJ Janivelle for Fox 13 News. AJ, thank you. To the South Sound now, where we're seeing some rain as well, and that's where we find Fox 13 News reporter Jen.